last time you checked or shocked your dental unit water lines? Research shows that that small diameter of our dental water lines is the perfect place for the growth of bacteria, which in turn is used on our patients during periodontal therapies and preventive care. We know that these treatments are needed to support our patients with better oral and overall health, but is it really if we're introducing bad smelling and odor causing bacteria into our treatments? So the first step in the water line maintenance is testing. To test your lines, you'll want to either get an at-office test kit that will give you the results in a few hours or ship your test to a lab for the results. After getting your own test kit, you're going to follow these steps to have the most accurate readings. One, remove all hand pieces, air water syringes, ultrasonics, all the things. Two, wipe the outside of the tubing to prevent cross-contamination. The third is take equal amounts of water from each of the ops water lines. If you have an ultrasonic and hand piece and air water syringe, take one third of the water from each one. Let the water sit in the test and then you're going to be able to read what level of bacteria is present in your water lines. Now that we've let the water sit, let's see and read the results. If your test looks like this, meaning the bacteria count is greater than 500 CFUs per milliliter, the water lines failed and you're going to need to shock the lines. If your test looks like this, the water line contains less than 500 CFUs per milliliter of bacteria, which is required by the CDC, and you're good to continue on with monthly maintenance. Now that you have your results, what now? Watch our next video to see the next steps on if your water line test has failed or how to maintain it if it passed.